Today I'm going to be going over how we can create a random music player. So this is going to pick a random song when the song that's playing finishes. So instead of having a preset kind of songs that are going to play, that can get a bit boring for the player if they play your game multiple times because they, they can hear the same songs coming up and it just doesn't work. So what this is going to do is it's going to randomly pick a song and it's going to make your game work a lot better and sound way cooler. Now, let's say this is your epic game you just finished, but you just want to add that finishing touch of music. What you're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and add a empty. Now I'm just going to pick this top one and we're going to move this up. So one thing I like to do is if we come back to Blender Render and the physics panel enable force field physics. Now this is actually going to do nothing for your game, but it does give you this nice little round representation to make your game just a little bit more interesting with that. So as you can see, now we have a kind of an interesting thing so we can tell where our thing is instead of just it just being random empty. I think it looks really nice. Now we want to add some logic to this. So I'm going to go ahead and add it always. Now the reason I'm adding this always is kind of a test thing. I'm actually going to remove it later. So I'm just going to call it startup. And once we've done this, we're going to go ahead and add a random actuator. So random. And we want to connect these up. Now we want to add a property as well because we need a property for the property slot. We also need to change this to an int ununiformed. As you can see I just changed it there and it's got all different properties. So now we're going to add our property. So this is going to be a, I'm just going to call it random. So I'm just going to copy and paste that and it's going to be an integer. Right. So we want to see this in game to test if it's working. So if we click the show debug properties, what this is doing is it's going to show debug properties up in the corner and this is going to enable it to show that debug property. So you can see in the corner it says empty at random equals zero. That works. So we're going to set this top number to something just for testing. So I'm going to go 10. And we also want to select the property slot. We want to select something because I missed it out. Right, so random in the property slot. And as you can see it's equal to 3. If I press it again, 5, 10, 18, 2. Oh, not 18. <laughs> um... So one thing you need to note though is do not change the seed above zero. If you change it to above zero, it's going to be set in stone because it's going to be that seed. Zero is random. So you want to keep it on zero. So we're going to go ahead and select random from all of these properties that are added. So I added three properties because we're going to have three different pieces of music. You can have more if you like. And I'm going to say if it's equal to three, if it's equal to two, and if it's equals to one, then... So each of those has a different property. So if the top one's equal to one, if the second one's equal to two, and if the third one's equal to three, each of them is going to output a different, um, a different signal. So I'm going to go ahead and add three sounds, and we're going to go to the downloads. Um, you won't have these songs, but I do. I got them from the YouTube Music Library, so I can use them in my videos. So what I'm going to do, go ahead and done, is I have got some very short songs. For the sake of testing, you would want some longer songs, but these are very short. Just for one reason, is that when it, we want it to switch to a different song when it's finished, and it's kind of hard to test if you have a three minute long song, because you have to wait for ages. So now, what you see, is it should play a song. Alright. So... Now what you see is, so when this song finishes we want it to play a different song. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to add an action, an uh, actuator sensor, sorry. And we're going to add three of these in. So what you can do is you can select the actuator out of the slot. And when that actuator is activated, it's going to activate this sensor, which is quite useful. What we're going to do is we're going to do that inverted, so when that it's not active, it will send out a signal, and we can use this so that when the song finishes, it will send out a signal, and it will switch, it will activate the random, and pick another song. So, you would 
think that we'd invert it by clicking invert on all the actuators but I found that's not the best way sometimes it just doesn't work so the way you can do it is you can change this to an N or so basically if any of these are not activated then it's going to send out a signal now they are all most of the time except for one not activated but because they're not activated every second you don't have the problem of it playing a bunch of them all at the same time and just random things just going off all the time you don't have that problem and it works so so now if any of the songs finishes it's going to pick a different one what you see is these songs will play play and come on let's finish playing once it's finished playing it's going to pick a different one as you can see right there it picked a different one and now it is playing your new song so there we go it's all set up it works perfectly you might want to add that always back at the startup one so that it picks a random one at the start and you want to want to change max to three and the min to one just so or depending on how many actuators and sounds you have playing so there we go so if you want to find more tutorials like this i do them every single week so you can subscribe on my youtube channel if you're watching it there or you can find all of them on my website, blenderreel.com. Um, but if you can make anything cool, I'd love to see it. So send me a link on YouTube or something like that. Have a great week and keep blendering.